The Office of the Parliament, in its continued television series on parliamentary personalities, highlights Mr. Govindra Rupnarain, former parliamentary representative for Siparia. Mr. Govindra Rupnarain served as the parliamentary representative for the constituency of Siparia during the period 1981 to 1991. When asked about his introduction to Parliament, he responded, um. I got involved in the politics in 1978 when a by-election was called in the then St. Patrick Regional, St. Patrick County Council. I did not actually go into it because I wanted to get into politics, but Mr. Pandey came to me and he was looking for a good candidate and I think the people in the area recommended me. and. Um, and it's because I did not end up politics because I just came overnight into the scene. I had a background of service to the community. That was my, you know, I, I served the community well in various organizations, in the cricket club, in the, in, in the community councils, in the uh, temples or whatever. I was actively involved in several fields. And I think the people had seen something in me and they told him that I was the best man and I was selected to run. Of course, I won this, the, 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 the county council elections in those days. And um, in 1980, there was another elections, county council elections, because it was a three-year term. And again, I won a, a seat in the, in the St. Patrick County Council. Um, I, I, I may add, in those days, the, we just won two seats. And one of the seats I had won it in those days in the St. Patrick County Council. Um, that is in 1980. And then the general elections came about in 1981. And I thought because of my representation at that level, the people wanted me at a higher level. Mr. Governor Pnurain, I have known him for many, many, many years. And he was a people's person. He would attend every single religious function in the constituency. He would visit every home, especially almost every home, especially at Diwali time, at Christmas time. He's ready to assist the needy in good times and in bad times. He's always there with the people. He's a people's person. He has never yet refused to listen to people. Whether they were able to get things from him, yes or no, but he never, never yet, this, um, at least, um, let me say, forego people for that matter. He's always a people's person. Mr. Rupnarain entered Parliament with a plan of action to remedy some of the social issues in the constituency of Siparia. When I went to the Parliament, of course, there, there were several um, things that the area, the Siparia constituency were lacking, several amenities. Basic infrastructure, the utilities, water and electricity was a major problem in the area. In my scene, although I was an opposition MP, I was able to achieve at least 40 extensions of electricity in the constituency. And pipe on water, maybe about the same number, where people got together, put up their money, mobilize the community, do the work and, and, and get the work done. Mr. Rupnarain realized that being parliamentary representative for Siparia was a challenging task. It was extremely challenging. Of course it was challenging. But, you know, as I said, people understood. Uh, you, you know what? People do not really want too much of you, you know. They, of course they, they, they want the basic things. Uh, but at the same time, they want to see you, that you must be with them, and that you are trying to achieve these things, and you, you walk them the way through, you let them know what you are doing, and they are happy. Um, one of my greatest struggles was in the constituency was for water. There was a real terrible shortage of water in the Siparia constituency. Many of the areas did not have pipe-borne water. And even if there were pipe-borne water, there was no water in the pipe. I, I coined a phrase in those days when people were talking about portable water. I said that in, our, in my area it was portable water. You had to tote the water for miles to get it to where you wanted. But so I had a struggle for water in my constituency in 1990, which took me to the, 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 the plant one day in Sign Village. And in a heated discussion, I told them I was not going to leave there until my people get some uh, uh, a supply. 
And um, I stayed there for almost three weeks. I spent Christmas Day in Mazatlan. I spent up to all year's day. And then we got assurances on New Year's Day, I left the plant. And for, I, I just remained in the plant. I slept in the plant. I remained there for 21 days in the Wasa compound in Seinfeld. That was one of my greatest struggles in 1990. Leave his wife and children home and react to the camp at the office in Sign Village to ensure that the people get some water. And of course, the government in, in the day actually listened to his plight and they actually assisted the residents of Siparia in getting some water. It wasn't full time, but at least some water. And I admire that with him, his courage, his stamina. He actually, like any other politician, fought for his people to bring forth uh, bring forth um, amenities. Some constituents thought Mr. Rupnarain's performance as a parliamentarian for Separia was a commendable one. The person you will expect Mr. Rupnarain to be is a very genuine man from apparently what he does for the community. You know, he's a straightforward man, a gentleman, a civilian to assist any voluntary organization or poor people. Maybe in politics he had it a good few years and he well assisted the people in my area. I would say good, good. He always make representation to the people of the Siparia constituency. Knowing fully well, the Siparia constituency actually forgotten and Govindra has tried his best to bring forth uh, amenities for his people. He did a lot of good by helping people. When he went to ever you go to his, to, uh, to his office for any help, he used to always help people and give a helping hand. Some of the major issues Mr. Govindra Rupnarain fought for while in Parliament included water, playing fields, housing and infrastructure. I entered the Parliament at age 29. I was very youthful. So my calling, I, I was playing cricket in those days and the recreational facilities in the area because I was involved was poor. I was able to establish more than 15 recreation grounds during my term of office in the parliament, although being in opposition in the first five years. And some of the grounds, that, there's one that is named after me now, the Govindra Rupnarain Recreation Ground, which is not too far from here. But several other big grounds in the area, like the Wilson Road Recreation Ground was done under my tenure. And that is now playing international cricket. Today, uh, uh, you know, most of the grounds, I don't think there were any new grounds in the last few years that was established. The grounds that have been presently lit up all was done under my tenure of office. So I was in, instrumental in the Susanland project. And again, that was another shortcoming in the area, housing. And although in opposition, I was able to mobilize the community with my colleague Trevor Sudama and John Humphrey. But I was instrumental in this area because I, this is my constituency. And we purchased a large acreage, 340 acres of land. We, with the help of the people, we collected money from them as down payment and we developed the land. And today is a thriving, if you go to Susan now, the kind of, is a thriving community. A lot of houses, we, we had initially distributed almost 400 plots of land for people. And people are very happy there. Mr. Govindra Rupnarain can be considered a people's person since he always tried to solve their problems. He was a very amenable representative. As a politician, no matter what you do, you can satisfy people. But he has tried. As I've told you, he was a people's person. In every single community, you'll find Govindra with his car, going about, be it Saturday, be it Sunday, be it a public holiday, going and looking after the needs of the people. He was great in that aspect. He was, a, at the point in time, he was very, genuine to his constituent, always in progress, getting things going and never hanging back. If I have to rate him as a person, I rate him up in comparison like past fellas like how the late Eric built up the country, he built up Siparia. Mr. Govindra Rupnarain, he's a very blessed man and a person that whensoever you go to him, he always, he always put a helping hand. And I'm, I'm very thankful for him to, 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 that today I am have a little place for me and my family to live. 
The experiences Mr. Rupnarain took away from Parliament will serve him in good stead for the rest of his life. The experience is something that I will always live with. Um, you know, the cut and trust of the debates, the, the pecongs, the... You know, the, the, I have learned a lot of, I mean, with, with, with the bills that, you, you know, had to be passed. I, 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 I have been educated so much during my term of office in that I did not do any law, but sometimes in my contributions, some people wanted to know when I, 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 I stood up in technical grounds and whatever and thing in the parliament and uh, aborted some bills as well, I remember, that was um, legally flawed. They wanted to know if I had a legal background. I, I, the training was good and I, I learned a lot and I, I felt very good for those 10 years. I, I think that, um, you know, that experience um, is serving me well now in my involvement. I continue to community work. It served me well. They, you know, it made me a, a better human being, that experience of the parliament. Since leaving politics, Mr. Rupnarain has devoted his energies to his business endeavors. He, however, continues to serve the constituents of Pinal and Ciparia.